So I built over 100 websites on high level and today I'm gonna to share with you the tools that I use to build beautiful high converting websites for my agency clients. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how I save time when building websites on high level and how I make it so they look beautiful and clean. All right, so here's the 10 tools that I use so you can start building go high level websites like a pro. The first tool is the Font Finder Chrome extension. So to get this, what you're gonna do is go on Google, type Font Finder Chrome extension, you're gonna click on this link but once you download it right here let's say that you were on a site that you really like and you want to see what fonts and what colors they use you're going to click on the extension right here and then you'll see that i can select over different elements let's say i click this right here you see that this window appears and i can see that the font that copilot is using is bagos i can see the font size i can see what colors they're using here as well so it's a very cool tool that you can start implementing and see how the website was built the second tool that i wanted to show you is the palette generator and it's coolers.co let's say that you had a client that needs help with their colors or you're trying to come up with colors for your own agency this tool will help you find your colors you see that i can add a new color like this so if i needed five colors i can get rid of a color when i hit the space bar i see different color combinations now let's say that i find a color that i really like such as this one right here i can lock it and then i can lock that one as well if i wanted to find my other two colors i can keep hitting the space bar until i find a color combination that I like if you click at this right here you see different shades so let's say that you like a specific color but you would like to add a lighter version you can just click this right here something else that I wanted to show you here is that if you select this icon right here once you find your colors you can see what the actual colors would look like on a side on your dashboard so it's cool if you wanted to customize your GHL dashboard and you can select different colors right here so anyways it's a cool tool that I use for my GHL websites the third tool that I wanted to show you is how I create my graphics so I'm going to show you two options you can use to build graphics for your GHO websites. The first is this one right here, Design Stripe. So you see that I have a bunch of free animations and there's even some paid ones which are awesome as well. You can customize and add to your website. So let's say that I was building a website for a SaaS, the financial industry. I could click this one right here and then I'm able to customize it. If I wanted to replace a specific element, I can definitely do that. So instead of this credit card, if I wanted to have a calculator, or a dollar sign there's like different options and i can change my colors it can suggest a different palette it's a cool tool that i use to design some of my graphics the second tool that i use is photoshop so this is a graphic that i have used for one of my previous SaaS templates so you see that on photoshop i'm able to create beautiful graphics change the position adjust things as i need so depending on the client that i have the cool thing is once i have a graphic built out i can very easily change information or adjust it to a specific niche the next tool that i wanted to show you is the contrast checker tool i already show you how you can find your colors here once you find your colors here if you go to tools and then contrast checker right here you'll be able to see if your colors work well with each other so let's pretend that two of my brand colors were this shade of blue and this shade of blue you see that i have a high contrast core a mistake that i see on a lot of high level websites is that they have colors that are very similar to each other it's going to make it hard for prospects to read your information hard for accessibility and it's going to decrease your conversions overall so i suggest that when you have different colors that you want to add to your site you run them through this tool to see if you have a high enough contrast ratio if you need help adjusting some of these colors you can just click here and then adjust either the text color the background color and it'll provide like suggestions or alternatives like you see me doing right here number five is a website that i use for website inspiration dribble right here say that i was building a website for a local business like a landscaper or a car detailing and i'm struggling to design a good layout for their contact us page what i like to do is go to dribble.com and here i can browse through different images and find inspiration so in this case let's say that i was to click this right here i can browse through different layouts and get inspiration for my own website the next tool that i wanted to show you is mockups so i like to go to this cool site ls graphics and if you scroll down here you see that there's different mockups i've used this for clients that need a more formal proposal or let's say that you also help with branding for your clients you can present your website design your posters your ads in a beautiful way so what you can do is let's say that you want to showcase your websites on a graphic like this you'll download this and then you'll be able to import it on photoshop what this looks like is that if you take a look at this right here this is what the graphic looks like. What I would do is click this right here. And let's say that I was presenting this to a landscaper. I'd say that this was my design that I wanted to propose to my landscaper client. What I would do is take a screenshot of this, go back on Photoshop, paste that right here. I'm gonna line it up just like you see me doing right here. Make sure that everything looks good. I'll make sure that I save. 
And then once I do this, you'll see that if I go here, I'm able to present my mockup on a very beautiful way to my client. You can then add this to your website proposal if it's something that you send to your clients. And that's the way that I've presented my website services to some clients in the past. All right, so the next tool is CSS gradients. So let me go to this side right here. What you can do is select your colors like you see me doing right here. Even if you don't know any code, you can adjust your gradients and this code right here will change. What you can then do is go ahead and copy this custom CSS and then paste it on your website. So in this case, what I'm going to do is add a cool gradient to this section to show you how I use this tool. So I'm going to click on the custom CSS window right here. And for now, what I'm going to do is type cool gradient one at the brackets like you see me doing right here and then paste that code that we copied from here what i'm going to do is copy this right here click save and then we need to add or tag that section so i'm going to click on the section go to advanced and then here i'm going to go ahead and paste the custom class i'm going to hit enter and now you see that very easily i've been able to add this gradient of course for this website it makes no sense but i'm just showing you very quickly how you can add this on your go high level website the next tool that i wanted to show you is how to add custom effects on your websites. For this, I always used my Notion doc. So to show you how I use the Notion doc to build beautiful websites on high level, I'm going back to this website right here. So this website already looks very nice, but I want to add a few things to make it so that it looks even better. The first thing that I want to do is make it so that when I hover over my buttons, they have some sort of interactive effects, which can help increase conversion. So I'm going to go back to my Notion doc right here. I'm going to click on the 1.9 tutorial right here. Here. And if you don't have the doc, you can check it out in the link in the description. For now, I'm going to click on style five right here. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this piece of code right here. Go back to high level, open the custom CSS button, paste this. Now what I'm going to do is copy this custom class, hit save. And I want to make sure that I tag my button right here. So I'm going to go to advanced click here and then paste my custom class hit enter now you see that when I hover over my button it has a very cool effect that makes it so that the website is a little bit more interactive the second effect that I want to show you is how to add cool gradients to your text right here so I'm going to go back to the notion doc now I'm going to go to tutorial 1.7 so I'm going to click this right here and I'm going to go to example 2 copy this piece of code right here go back to high level click on the custom CSS window paste this code again and in this case, what I'm going to do is copy this custom class, hit save, and then add it to my headline right here. So I'm going to go to advanced and then here paste it like you see me doing right here. I'm going to hit enter. And now you see that I've been able to add a cool gradient. I use this effect in a lot of my client websites. The next tool that I want to show you is where do I get my icons? And there's two sites. The first is flat icon right here. So let's say that I was building a website for a cleaning company and I need a bunch of cleaning company icons. What I'm going to do is type cleaning right here and then you'll be able to see that i get a bunch of different icons these are icons that i can download and then use on my website if i click on any of these icons you see that i have different options with different colors and you can customize them even further by selecting the edit icon right here in this case i'm not going to do this but this is where i get a lot of my icons the second resource is on google fonts website so if you click icons right here you see that there's a bunch of icons that you can use as well so if you want to add something specific you can just click this right here and you even have the option to change the color and then be able to download this as a PNG and add it on your site. Number 10 is where I get my royalty free images and backgrounds. There's two websites that I like to use. The first one is pexels.com. So let's say that I was building a website for a golf business. I'll go ahead and click this right here. And then you see that very easily I'm able to download images to use on this golf website business. This is especially great if it's a new business that doesn't have content or a business that has been around for some time, but they just don't have high quality visuals. The second website that I like to use is Unsplash, kind of similar. So let's say it was a camping business in this case. Now you see that here I have beautiful images in the camping niche and I can add on my go high level website. The last tool that I wanted to show you is let's say that you've already finished building your site and you want to check the performance, like how fast and if it's accessible. So to show you how this works, I am on my site right now. And if I right click this right here and I click inspect, the dev tools will open. I'm going to go ahead and click this 
arrow right here and select Lighthouse and I'm gonna click Analyze Page Load. So right now it's running a test on my site and it's gonna give me a couple of scores. So here you see that for SEO I have 100%, 100%, 87 for accessibility and 93 for performance. Now what's cool is that if you click on this right here, it'll tell you what things you can improve. So it's a great tool that you can use not only to check the performance, like how fast your website is, but if it's accessible or if there's any information that you're missing in terms of the SEO to make sure that it ranks higher. Those are 11 tools that I use to build websites on high level like a pro. If you want to start adding cool custom effects to your go high level websites, click the link in the description and get access to my Notion doc.